What is going on guys and welcome back to another MD Fish Tanks build video. Today we're going to be doing the Amazon Tank 2. Don't get me wrong, the tank currently looks amazing, but it's done, it's finished. There's a few issues with it now I'll discuss with you so you can sort of kind of understand, sort of kind of understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> right, first and foremost, fish, healthy. Plants, super healthy. Algae, non-existent apart from a little bit on that wood can you see that which other way fishies there you go look. but that's perfect that's just for that, all the um bristle nose plecos can graze on that so that's actually really good so if the fish are perfect the plants are perfect why am i changing it right let me just show you let me zoom out oh, not in out there we go right now the fish look at how they congregate all right at the front here obviously i'm here so that's making that happen a little bit but even when i like sort of step right back up the way sit still and just watch them for a while they just stay in that area. Now the problem is, is I put that wood in, which is great, don't get me wrong, but it's caused so much of a dark area in the back that no fish ever go in there. Maybe that's a compliment to um, how much they love me to be all out in the open, fully comfortable, aren't you guys? Fishies, fishies, they think they're being fed. Ow, <laughs> the Colombian just got me. So what I wanna do is just redo it all again, make it far more realistic as well, because this was just Amazon tank, green, wood, plants. I want to go for a specific Amazon tank now and I want to do the Rio Negro. And the reason I've chosen that one is because it looks so cool because it has an absolute ton of leaf litter and wood and all that sort of natural look to it, big rocks and that, but there's no tannings. In the rainy season, the whole river floods and obviously all those, that leaf litter that was on the floor is now underwater. Now that would leach all the tannins obviously, but it's a real fast flowing, well, some areas of it are fast flowing. I've seen quite a few videos on YouTube now. One of them is from Tank Tested and Alex was talking about it in one of his videos. I'll leave a link below to it. And uh, so like he said, the river was flowing so fast that the tannins just don't have time to settle. So it all looks clear. I wanna try and do that. We could do that quite easy by putting some purigen in the filter. And what that means is you get all that awesome natural leaf litter look, but we won't get all the tannins. How cool would that be? little bits of green here and there as well obviously because that does happen from what i've seen right on the banks of the river as well that is gonna look so cool first thing i need to do though is sort out where these fish are going and it just so happens that underneath here i've got a whole empty tank currently oh that's a little light i've got for coming for a project soon i've got this tank i'm going to take that sand off turn it to the side and then i could also plumb in the uh the oase filter we've got there so 800 thermo thingy built-in heater I don't know anyway that's going to go on there as well so all the fish can sit in there they'll be nice and safe the filter will continue to keep uh, running which means that it will stay cycled I can also put in some of these plants that I'm going to reuse as well I don't need this many because it will just look the same again <laughs> but a couple of them definitely a couple of them and one one of the nice big swords at the back there Right, there we go filling it up with the water from the tank i thought that would be the best move won't take long, long at all to fill that little thing up um, and then we've got to unplug the filter and plug that in as well and then everything just keeps going this is brilliant because it then means i don't have to rush anything can take our time with the build back in the day i used to try and do everything all in one day and just you know unplug the filter and take take the um take the lid off so it's oxygenated that means that the bacteria doesn't die then by the way um but nowadays I just replumb it in, in a spare tank and just, it's just so much better. It just gives you way more time to think about things, what you're doing and not be under like massive pressure. Click subscribe. Right, that's the filter all running smooth. It's surprising how many tannins are actually in the water because when you look at it up here against the black background, it doesn't really, that's a bit bright, isn't it? There we go. It doesn't really look like there's any in there at all, but obviously there is. <laughs> right now, so I'm gonna be um, moving all the plants now because obviously these plants here are in the water. Well, they were in the water. So there's the whole root system at the bottom there. Same on this side, another root system currently. They're gonna get thirsty, so I'm gonna move one across, I think, to the Buddha Aquarium, and then another one across over in the moss sort of grow out tank. 
Just a quick one guys, I've started a new channel called MD Nature. It's just basically a really fun channel for me to do extra stuff that's non-fish related. I didn't want to cram it into this one because that's not what you signed up for, is it? Yeah, anyway, if you're interested in just random fun stuff and adventures, then click the link in the description, follow, sub. So there's a bit new video coming out soon and yeah, you'll get the thing that will tell you it's done. Yeah, do it. I mean, that's probably the worst pitch ever, isn't it? But you just check it out. <laughs>
Oh, I've got absolutely loads in there now. I mean, I've got quite a lot of gravel as well, but it doesn't matter. There we go. Oh, in you go. Come on, down, down. That's it. <laughs> Easy, let's carry on. Yay, we got everything out. That was easy in the end. Next job, remove all of that gravel to reuse because it looks so good. It's got that natural sort of different gradings to it, colorations, so good, perfect. There we go, a blank clean slate. Now, I don't know why I just took all of that gravel out because now it looks horrible. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little thin layer in just to stop that full glare and also just so we got a nice base. Stick some hard skip in, just have a little look, start figuring things out. This is a big tank. Well, it's not, it's four foot, but it's big for me, the biggest size I have. And I just wanna just mess around with it for a little bit. I don't know if I wanna go for chunky driftwood, if I wanna go for thinner stuff, a combination of both. I never normally do that, so maybe that's one to go for. Because let's face it, in a river, it's not all gonna be uniform, is it? You're gonna have bits that are floated down from further upstream, different trees, different branch types. So yeah, let's just try loads of different options. I'm gonna have to move that out of the way for now though. <laughs> I keep getting it in my face otherwise. Oh, and I don't know if you guys saw there, good tip for you for getting out gravel fast. Get the dust pan from the set, obviously not the brush, and just keep scooping it. The good thing is it's got that little rubber lip, which means it doesn't scratch the glass. So you can press it against it and rub it, you know, push it all the way down the edge and that cleans it and puts it all into the bottom. And also it's quite a good capacity there. You, I cleared that in no time at all using this. And also, oh, you might have seen here, look, we've got these things that are underneath the sand. This is like packs that have got, well, it's not packs, what is it? I suppose it's like plastic mesh, yeah? And I've also got plastic zips on them as well. So you can open it up and inside is just a load of crushed lava rock. So it's really good just to put underneath all of that sand and gravel, stops it compacting and generating nasties and that underneath the sand. So, and it also just really does help to create height and you can reuse it anytime. Perfect. There we go, that's better. Now we can start putting some hardscape in. I want big rocks, I want big wood, I want sticks, let's go. Right, really, really rough guy. That's that's not what it's gonna be like, but it kind of is. So I want the back wall to be just covered in the driftwood before we had it all coming forward into the foreground, but I wanna save that for more of the details, the rocks, the uh, stickier sticks, <laughs> the thinner ones all across the bottom here. It won't be like that though, because that's, that's a bit too straight. Everything's too straight. So I'll, I'll try and take that whole thing, lift it slightly so it's at like a slight angle, and then that'll leave a sort of wedge down the bottom here where there won't be anything. We can fill that in with some rocks or something like that. It might be a good idea to use a pile of rocks over in that corner for everything to rest on, but I'll have to obviously go behind all this driftwood as well because there's like, it's gonna be really hard to see it actually. But basically, behind this whole section, there's obviously loads of gaps. So we're gonna to have to fill all that in as well. There's a lot of work to do. I found nowadays that it's so much better to fill everything in rather than just leave areas for detritus to, I mean, it seems obvious, doesn't it? But I used to just build the background up and it, it worked. Everything stayed great for like two months. And then after that, downhill very fast. <laughs> and the only way at that point to combat all of that problem is by taking everything out to clean it. Cause you can't get behind there with pipes and stuff. I did try, yeah, it's not gonna work. So we need to make sure we fill it all in. But it's not difficult to do, look. All you do is, as you lay one bit down, put in a load of gravel, next bit, and it actually means that stuff rests on top a lot better as well. So yeah, it's gonna be really, really cool. It's gonna be such a good background. You can buy like the fake backgrounds, can't you, that are like uh, polystyrene or expanding foam, whatever, and, and they give that sort of look, but they never look quite right, do they? I always find building your own background with masses bits of wood or rocks or whatever, just works so, so well. Oh, you're not gonna see that stand at the side either because when the whole tank's full of water, that panel becomes a mirror, obviously, and so does that one. You know, for example, when we look in this tank here, you can't see to the side, can you? But yeah, this is gonna be so exciting. I'm really, really can't wait. Next video, we're gonna be doing planting and building the hardscape properly. Like this is just, this isn't, this isn't it, but it's like, 
I'm trying to explain to you how I'm going to be doing it. Everything at the back, so we've got this massive open swimming area. The lights aren't too powerful look either, so it means we're not going to get algae. We're going to have loads of detail on this foreground. It won't be flat either. I'm going to try and give it a sort of waviness to it like you'd see in a river. So there's still tons and tons to do, don't get me wrong, but I just want to lay something out just to give you guys an idea of what's coming up. I mean, I haven't really done that, have I? <laughs> but yeah, an all natural background is essentially what I'm trying to say there. It should look so good. It's going to give us loads of little pockets as well to put all our big sort of out of water plants in as well. I'm not going to be doing an absolute ton of plants in the bottom section. I want that to all be on the top of the uh, river because <laughs> uh, looking at some of the research I've done that's how it is there's just and the river banks there are pockets of green and we want to keep that in there and make it look really good but the predominant feature on the base is just gonna be that litter leaf litter and wood not actual litter I mean <laughs> that wouldn't look great would it chocolate bar packet just strolling around in the tank <laughs> anyway guys there's loads more to come if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button and then you'll get notified next well no you've got to hit the bell as well apparently yeah hit the bell and then you'll get notified on the next video and you won't miss it so so much more to come this is going to be great